GQ magazine have a great article on their website of some of the best dressed famous men at Wimbledon. So let me serve you a slice of them for some first rate inspiration with some big stars towards the end. No surprise, David Beckham, as usual, extremely well dressed. A light gray linen suit with a nice texture to it, light blue shirt with an excellent choice of a gold tie and navy pocket square put together extremely well. He always knows exactly what he's doing and the fit is perfection. Shuti Gatwa, the new Doctor Who, is wearing a classic dark blue pinstripe three-piece, and I can't fault his fitting or styling. Well done. Not sure about the sockless look, but more on that later. Actor Jonah Howard King also wearing a dark blue pinstripe, but a two-piece double-breasted suit, Windsor collar shirt, and a nice pair of single monks on his feet. English actor James Norton wearing a light grey suit, perfect for hot weather, with a pink shirt balanced with a textured grey necktie to match the suit, and a pair of white minimalist sneakers. I'm not sure they work well with this light ensemble. I think darker shoes would have worked better to ground it all. Actor and musician William Gow is unfortunately holding his jacket over his shoulder as he would love to see the spectacular olive green linen suit in full. Perfect for the summer and Wimbledon. The blue shirt is a nice bright addition and the orange tie is outstanding. This time a much bolder green on actor Douglas Booth and a superbly worn casual look for his suit and this time the white t-shirt and white sneakers work very well. Can't fault it. I see what actor Corey Milchrist is trying to achieve by matching the shirt and pants to give the same unifying effect as a suit. I've tried it myself, but rather than being coordinated, it inevitably looks like you're still wearing your pyjamas. Malcolm Baldry in an excellent brown pinstripe double-breasted jacket, and beneath the white pants, the brown suede lovers match the upper wonderfully. You're not supposed to wear two sets of stripes so close in scale, but it seems to work fine here, so well done. Leo Woodall best known for the White Lotus, has on a light Glencheck double-breasted two-piece. It's a very busy pattern, so I'd be inclined to wear darker shoes to tone it down a little bit. Not sure I could pull it off, but I like it. And now to finish off with some A-list celebrities all wearing blue suits. Hugh Jackman looking good, but if I had to say anything, it's that he's a big guy, and perhaps wider lapels on the jacket would be better. And no surprise, the Stanley Tucci is well-dressed. We're back on the sockless look, which I think can look good with the suit, but it depends on the style and the climate. I think bare ankles don't look great with a dark blue conservative suit. Much better match with one of those green suits earlier in the video. James Bond actor Pierce Brosnan looking like the gentleman he is and sometimes being well dressed in an unnoteworthy but perfectly fitting suit is often all you need to do to stand out. Like many other of Wimbledon's, he is sporting a white pocket square in a presidential fold. And last but not least, Tom Cruise being a step above the rest by picking a slightly different tone for his knit polo than his suit for a subtle but outstanding game set and match.